What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Red Sea Radio. My name is Corbin and it was announced yesterday that our starting center fielder would be placed on the IL going forward for at least 10 days. Now 10 days doesn't seem like a whole lot in the grand scheme of the entire season but losing Kike has implications beyond just losing Kike. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about obviously what injury is affecting Kike and how it'll affect him this season but we're also going to talk about how this affects the Red Sox because it definitely has bigger impacts than just Kike getting hurt. But before we get into that, do me a favor, make sure you guys have hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're new here, we are only about 300 subscribers away from 1,500 total subscribers. So help us get there by the end of the month by hitting that button. Also make sure you guys are hitting the like button on these videos as well. It is the best way to help this channel out and it would mean a lot to me. Thank you all very much for clicking on this one. Let's get into it. So let's talk about what's actually going on with Kike Hernandez. What's actually going on with Kike is that he has a right hip flexor strain. And while there are probably better ways to get a couple of days off, this isn't the worst news in the world. In fact, Kike Hernandez will probably be pretty sore for a couple of days, but when he comes back, it probably won't affect his play too much, and it definitely won't affect his play in the long term, hopefully. Obviously, there could still be complications, but for the most part, this is a pretty minor injury. You're probably thinking to yourself, hey, Corbin, why are we making a video if Kike's only gone for 10 days and it's not a major injury? Well, for, for starters, I'm a Red Sox channel. I wanna make sure that you guys have all the Red Sox news that you have possible at your disposal so if there's news we're going to make a video about it but secondly the, again like i said at the beginning this doesn't just affect kike this is implications that will affect the entire red sox team and what i mean by that is that the red sox are pretty banged up right now you have both your shortstop and your second baseman dealing with soreness because of past injuries. Xander's dealing with soreness in his shoulder due to the fact that he collided with Doogie a little bit ago. Trevor Story's dealing with shoulder soreness because of the fact that he tried to dive and make a play in Oakland. And now you've got Nate Evaldi who also came out and said that his velo was down yesterday because of his soreness in his hip. On top of that, if you've been watching these games, you've been seeing guys kind of wince a little bit when they swing and miss. You've been seeing guys kind of wince a little bit when they run hard to first base and stuff like that. So I think in just in general, this team's pretty banged up and this tends to happen on West Coast road trips and I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's the travel, I don't know if it's because there's always funky games in these West Coast road trips, but either way, these guys are definitely banged up a little bit. Kike going down might mean that these guys who desperately need days off to nurse these sorenesses back to health to make sure that these slight sorenesses don't become a major injury might not get the days off that they need. And that leads me to who is replacing Kike Hernandez. Because the obvious answer to that question should be Jaron Duran, right? He was doing well in the majors, he's doing well in the minors, he's an outfielder, Kike's an outfielder, it makes perfect sense. But that's not the route the Red Sox decided to go. In fact, the Red Sox decided to go with a pretty surprising route. They decided to call up Jonathan Arauz. Now, Jonathan Arauz on paper doesn't look like the right guy to replace Kike Hernandez. In fact, it surprised me and I was pretty aggravated at first. I wanted to see Durant back up here. But the more you look into it, the more it makes sense to bring Ara Ooze up. And the reason it makes sense is because of what I just said, the injuries to Xander and the injuries to Trevor's story. Because heaven forbid those guys try to play through those injuries and end up on the IL with pretty major injuries and they're out for an extended period of time. I would rather have Ara Ooze in there who might not do anything to impact the team, but it would give Xander and Trevor Story of the ability to take days off and nurse those slight sorenesses back to health before they become major injuries. Because as much as I love Kike Hernandez, it would be a much bigger blow to this team to have Xander or Trevor Story on the IL. Now you might be thinking, Corbin, what about Christian Arroyo? Couldn't he fill into those spots? Well, I think the plan with Christian Arroyo is to platoon him in left field with Franchi Cordero, move uh, Jackie Bradley over to center field for a while and have those two man the, the outfield. Obviously, Jaron Duran can't platoon with Franchi Cordero because of the fact that they're both lefties. And this gives you the ability to not have to shuffle up your lineup a ton. We saw it last night where they shuffled up a ton of people. You had Bob playing third base. You had Christian Vasquez at first base. And that's probably not something you want to do for 10 straight days is fully switch up those lineups like that, especially going into a series against the Mariners, where the Mariners are a little bit of a dangerous team. Yes, we swept the four games against them, but they're winning games against the Astros and they're looking a lot better 
better than they did when they came to Boston. So while the Jonathan Arauz move is surprising, in my mind, it makes sense. All in all, I don't think that this will have huge implications long term for the Red Sox. And I think that the Jonathan Arauz move is a better move than I originally thought. But let me know what your thoughts are on this topic down below. What did you think of Kike going down? Do you think it'll have effects on him long term? What do you think of Jonathan Arauz replacing him in the plan for him? Do you think it makes sense? Would you rather have someone else? Let me know all your thoughts on this down below. As always, if you've made it to the end of these videos, do me a favor, make sure you guys have hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Like I said at the beginning, we're only a couple hundred off of 1500 and let's see if we can get there by the end of the month. Also make sure you guys are hitting the like button on these videos as well. It is the best way to help this channel out and it would mean a lot to me. Thank you all very much for clicking on this one and I will see you in the red seats.